Hey, what's going on guys? In this video, what we're gonna be doing is I'm gonna be showing you how I reupholstered the seats in my Chevy Caprice Brome. Um, obviously, you can see that we did take the pillow seats out of the car, but we redid you know, new foam and everything on it. So it isn't something that is fairly easy. It is kind of a process, but I'm gonna show you as a breakdown on how I did it and you know what it what it took for me to get it done. As you can see, the patterns that we went with with the inserts on the seat are very much similar to the trunk patterns on the car. So this interior matches 100%. So first I started out similar to what I did on the trunk is I took the artwork that I created in Photoshop and then I cut it out and resized it, made it smaller so that it would work for the inserts of the seat. Now, the reason why I went with this is because, you know, we're not just painting this, we're, we're actually sewing it. After I got the vinyl on there, what I did is I took a straight edge and extended the lines because it needs to be a little bit bigger than the actual area that I need. This red area is exactly what I need. The lines beyond it are just gonna be excess. So here you can see me cutting it out. Next, what we have to do is we have to get some sew foam. We're gonna spray glue this vinyl to the sew foam with the sew foam fabric being on the outside so that the sewing machine has something to grip to. I also put some staples around the edge just to hold it a little bit tighter. Obviously, this is outside of what we need. Here's my sewing machine and it does have some engraved parts, but that's about as cool as it gets. This is your basic sewing machine. It's a Metal Gear all-driven sewing machine. It would be way easier if I had a walking foot sewing machine, but this is just a regular ass sewing machine. Okay, so I made this a little bit longer. I like to just start it and I try to, on this sewing machine, it, I don't know if you can see it, but this is the depth or how far the stitches are, but it always wants to move. So I just put this thing in there. I also like to start in the middle of the pattern to try to minimize the, the puffiness, I guess, of it. Now this part is so tricky, I just like to try to do it by hand. Since I'm using the vinyl, I try to keep the sewing literally right on the edge of it because I don't want to sew through it because then it's a pain in the ass to get it out after. Make sure it's in a good spot and then we'll just see. And now I would like the needle to be right on this edge, but since this foot is, I'm just gonna have to follow it. All I do is just pull it off, cut it, and I'll uh, tie it off. So, you can see the stitches got tighter here, but we followed the contour pretty good.
here's me putting the sides on, sewing them together face to face. I accidentally drew on this one, but I don't know if I can do this one-handed. So if I had a walking foot sewing machine, this would be so much easier. But it's not necessary, I guess. Something wrong. The one on the left is the bottom seat and the one on the right is the top seat. That is the driver's side passenger and we're gonna keep on going so we just sewed this flap on here let's see this will be tucked under the seat this is the back of the passenger seat and you won't even see this part but it'll just be where it connects to the back of the seat if that makes any sense all right so i just sewed this flap edge on and this is going to be the back of the seat where your back is going to be up against and then this will go up and over around behind the seat so now i gotta do this other one right here and we'll get going so these are the seat parts where you sit on in the front you can see it's a little wrinkly i think it'll be okay once it's all straightened out maybe it won't be i don't know we'll have to see uh this is the spot where the armrest will be and then the other front seat i didn't take any video of me putting the seats in the car or you know hog ring in the material to it but i used hog ring pliers to hold the fabric back you know to the actual seat itself here they are installed back in the car we still have some work to do there's still door panels some trim and stuff that has to be done on the inside. I kind of want to do something with the back uh, deck for the, where the speakers are. Plus, you know, maybe when I have hydraulics, I might have to, I don't know, modify where the speakers are because of the cylinders reaching them. So here's the car so far. And there will be a part two of this interior since we have to do the door panel still. Here's a look at the back side of the seats with the trim on and everything. They look really good. There is a little tiny bit of a wrinkling issue here and there, but I think over some time it'll come out. Maybe I can even pull it a little bit tighter from the back side with the hog rings. And it also matches perfectly with the back patterns on the trunk. If you like this video, Please hit that like and subscribe and until next time, later.